back to Halo Halo. I'm Karen Niba with your dose of all things entertaining from Asia to Hollywood and everything in between. And speaking of entertaining, we have a special guest today, an entertaining performer, educator, and comedian, Christina Hi, Wong. <laughs> now she, <laughs> she is the star <laughs> and creator of Going Green the Wong Way. Yes, <laughs> Christina, welcome. Great to have Thank you here. Thank you for having me. It's my first roof interview ever. Awesome. <laughs> now tell me about Going Green the Wong Way. Going Green the Wong Way is my one woman show. It started because in 2006 I bought a pink Mercedes Benz, a 25 year old Mercedes Benz that ran on vegetable oil with the intention that I was going to show the world how fun and easy it was to go green. Um, the short version of the story is two years later it caught on fire in the freeway. It was a complete disaster. It cost me thousands of dollars to fix and when it caught on fire I was like God I failed. And uh, So I decided you know what I'm going to make the best of this. I'm going to go carless in the city instead of going and buying a car that runs on fossil fuels and I'm going to make a show about all of my failures in the sustainable movement. And it sounds like fun. Yeah, it's been great. I'm going to Edinburgh, Scotland next month at the show. The show's been doing really well. We run a couple more weekends here in Los Angeles and I'm just really blessed that almost dying in a car fire was like the best thing to ever happen in my career. <laughs> yeah. Now, congratulations. You mentioned going to Scotland. How did that come about? Um, I just uh, I heard about the Edinburgh Fringe Festival forever. It's the, the biggest international uh, the fringe theater festival and I made a connection to CalArts Festival Theater who agreed to partner with me and, and uh, take me under their wing and so I'm, I'm, uh, I had to raise a bunch of money on Kickstarter but I, I was able to go. Yeah. Yes. What is an eco-friendly tip that you can give me? Ah, well, uh, for ladies out there, you know, our, our monthly gift um, produces a lot of waste, which turns up in landfills and oceans. So for those of you um, who want to learn about things like cloth, uh, cloth pads, reusable pads and how to maintain them and keep them clean for when you're a busy woman like me or 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 the sustainable alternative to the tampon you can um, <laughs> look up the thing called the diva cup or i can tell you about it during the show oh, okay. very a lot of uh, adventures with your own body okay thank you <laughs> now how about it's okay for channel IT, but whatever yes, it's okay <laughs> now how about for men mm. Mm. Oh, man, so much, so much to say, men. Well, you can help men by um, offering uh, rides to people like me. No, I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't have anything handy off the top of my head with guys. All I have is disgusting feminine hygiene advice. I think a lot of people think it's kind of weird that the, for, for a woman, an Asian woman especially, to be without a car in this city. And I think, especially in Asian American culture, our cars are like such an extension of our identity and are such a marker of success, especially in this city. And, uh, but I, I don't know. It's been really interesting to get around the city without a car. I've been using Facebook. I'll, if you're my Facebook friend, you'll see that every so often I'll post a ride request. And you're no stranger to One Woman Shows. You also no. did um, Wong Flew Over the Cuckoo's yes. Nest, which is, seems a little more um, serious about Asians, Asian women and depression and yeah. suicide. So that... Um, I guess similar to this show, and it's about social issues. And that one, I I created that in 2006. I, I wanted to do a show addressing the high rates of depression and suicide among Asian American women. And it's being a show where I make fun of kind of myself in the pursuit of kind of a, an impossible topic. Um, uh, I guess what I didn't realize what would happen when I embarked on making that show was how emotional the process was going to be and how many people would come out of the woodwork and uh uh, women who I knew in very professional contexts, people who were professors, people who I'd meet at conferences would pull me aside and tell me about their depression, their even their suicide attempts and I was just like I can't, you know, I can't believe there's this a whole other side to Asian these Asian women that I had no idea. It wasn't even Asian women. It was just like this topic that really kind of gripped a lot of people. And I was finding that uh, just intensely overwhelmed by the, by the prospect of how do you do a show about something that nobody will talk about. Yeah, exactly. And so that's sort of what that show looks like. And it ends up being quite funny. And now I'm um, very blessed that it is a film. You can actually buy on Amazon.com um, if you can't catch the show live. And uh, I was very lucky to get to tour to dozens and dozens of schools and theaters in the last few years and, and really open a dialogue about a very hard to talk about subject. That's yeah. not a very easy subject no. to tackle <laughs> and in the right way. Yeah, and, and had I, if I were to go back to five years ago, I would do it so differently. I would have 
prepared differently and maybe like I just kind of went in it, into it like I was bulletproof like hey, everyone would do the show and I had no idea like how emotional it would be for me to do and how much how much yeah how much self-care I would have needed and support I would need to do it right now let's go back to going green the long way how do we get tickets where do we get more information sure we're playing till July 22nd Thursdays through Sundays so Thursdays Fridays Saturdays at 7 30 p.m. Sundays at 3 p.m. so you can still go out and enjoy the sunshine and it's at the bootleg theater in historic Filipino town and for more information on Christina you can check out our website christinawong.com and for more information on us you can go to YouTube dot com slash holo holo tv we'll see you later